This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazoff moment. Tonight, Trump and a good joke about political murder. This evening, I want to talk to you a bit about Daniel Greenfield's article at Front Page Magazine called A Good Joke About Political Murder. And Daniel Greenfield is discussing the recent controversy over Trump allegedly implying at a rally uh, that people should take the Second Amendment into their own hands and perhaps go and kill Hillary Clinton. This was the accusation. And Daniel Greenfield brings up a lot of very profound points in this article that I want to briefly talk to you about this evening. Uh, so before I move on, one more time, a good joke about political murder by Daniel Greenfield. Let's discuss this. First of all, as Greenfield points out, it's not even what happened. So the leftist media, oh, they're just in an uproar. How could Trump tell people to go and kill Hillary Clinton? Oh my God, this is so awful. Now, first, it didn't happen. Go research it. Uh, it's not what Trump was saying at all. And once again, his words have been, you know, benign words were taken and he's been made into an evil man doing evil deeds as the leftist media is constantly doing, lying about him step after step after step. But Greenfield really crystallizes and unveils just the sordid and grotesque double standards in, the, in this whole phenomenon. Let us suppose, hypothetically, that Trump did make some kind of a joke in that regard. Let's talk about a few things here, okay? First of all, just my own observation. Um, the other night I was watching Conan O'Brien, and they've got this guy pretending he's Trump, he's impersonating Trump, and then near the end of the skit they have a dummy of Trump and they just throw him off a high-rise building. And they go like this and they laugh and they've killed Trump. And Conan is laughing and the audience is laughing. It's all so funny. You know, Trump has been murdered and thrown off a building. I was thinking, imagine if they do that skit again. Oh, Conan, you're so funny. You know, and by the way, I do think Conan O'Brien's a funny guy. Very funny show, but you know, but you know, you're so brave, you're so funny. It's time to now do the same skit, but do it about Obama. Do it about Hillary Clinton. Take a doll near the end after somebody, uh, you know, imitates them or does an impersonation and throw a dummy of Obama or Hillary off a high rise pretending that you're murdering them. I'll tell you right now, that would never be done. It is not allowed in our culture. And not only would people get fired and have to apologize, I would even argue that charges might even be filed. The left would come up with some lawsuit that, uh, you know, that Conan's show is instigating hatred and it's a hate crime or something. Who knows what the left would create? But we know for sure that a skit like that about Obama and Hillary would never be done on television. But it's okay to do it about a Republican or a conservative. And this is what Daniel Greenfield was centering in on on his show. And so Greenfield's article reveals, for instance, that John Kerry joked about killing President Bush and also about the assassination of Dan Quayle. You know, how come so many of us have never heard of this? You know, John Kerry is joking about the assassination of uh, Dan Quayle, about the murder of President Bush, and, uh, and nobody says anything about it. The media is not upset about it at all. And Greenfield also talks about the roster of media people that are covering the election, from the New York Times to Vice to The Night Show, that are constantly joking about killing Trump and his assassination, etc., etc. This is in, 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 on all the shows, and nobody says anything about it. Comedian Orlando Jones recently had a gag about killing Sarah Palin. Where is the outrage? And this is what Daniel Greenfield is asking. And the answer is there is no outrage because killing a president is only wrong if he or she is a Democrat. And, you know, I've been thinking about this since this controversy over Trump. Very, very interesting. Trump makes a joke or whatever it is, even if hypothetically, but it wasn't, but hypothetically it was. It's just outrageous and he's evil. But constantly in our culture and leftist politicians, uh, leftist comedians constantly joking about the killing or assassination of Sarah Palin, uh, about Dan Quayle, about George Bush, about conservatives, and it is allowed. And why is it allowed? Why these double standards 
in our culture? Well, I'll tell you what, because you see, the left is building a utopia. The left is building a perfect world. And so they're going to build a world where everybody has equality, everybody's the same, nobody's hungry, everybody's holding hands. It's utopia. So if somebody's in the way of that, well, they should be done away with. And ultimately, that's what the left really is about. That, you know, they're uh, self-appointed uh, social redeemers, and they're building a perfect planet. So whoever's in the way of perfect, uh, in a way of, in the way of building a perfect planet has to be gotten rid of. And it's very interesting if you watch carefully and read history, you know that they called the Khmer Rouge Sartre's children because the blueprint, the choreography, the plan for what Pol Pot did, for what the Khmer Rouge did in Cambodia, that was engineered because of the blueprint, because of uh, the fact that leftist Parisian intellectuals uh, had devised the plan for the Khmer Rouge uh, from their study halls and from their academic settings. And so my point is today, ladies and gentlemen, that the left can joke about killing its political opponents because ultimately when socialism takes on its earthly incarnations, that's what socialism does. That's why for the left it's okay to joke about killing conservatives, but for conservatives it's not appropriate. And David Horowitz's work has shown this very profoundly. And he has unveiled, unveiled, as he's written about, that the leftists are self-appointed redeemers. They get to decide who are the anointed and who are the damned. And my friends, that is why the media is in an uproar where Trump allegedly made a joke, but when Kerry makes the same joke about Quayle or George Bush, or when leftists make the same joke about Sarah Palin getting assassinated, nothing is really said about it the double standards, and also the heartlessness of the left. That's what this is all about. We'll see you on the next Jamie Glazoff moment. Good night.